Welcome to the ABI Snapshot, where we spotlight critical findings in the latest research from our global team of analysts. In this snapshot, we're speaking with Christy Martindale, Chief Commercial Officer at Paladine AI, and me, Ryan Martin, Senior Research Director at ABI Research. Together, we'll answer key questions about speeding robotics automation with AI. Welcome, Christy. Hello, and thank you for having me. I'm glad you're here, and it's great to be having this important conversation about easing and enabling robotics automation. For a long time, robotics automation has been widely regarded as impossible or inefficient in a lot of scenarios where we'd want to see it. Now, that's all starting to change with a major paradigm shift in terms of what it takes to use and implement robotics thanks to new software and techniques that leverage AI for easier, more cost-effective, and adaptable automation, most notably in the form of closed-loop automation software. Christy, how would you describe closed-loop robotics automation? Closed-loop automation software is one of the biggest advancements in the robotics industry and for automation in general. This AI-enabled approach to robotics autonomy is more like human interactions where functions are learned and adapted dynamically rather than hard-coded for a specific task. It's designed to expedite robot training with low-code, no-code techniques and exponentially expand the number of variable tasks that a robot can perform. It's a simple approach that makes robotics relevant in more scenarios, including, of course, structured environments, but also unstructured situations where automation was once inefficient or even impossible. The most innovative robotics automation solutions provide a low-code approach at the edge to minimize cloud requirements such as cost and latency. The best and most modern solutions follow four key steps for real-time inputs, perception, and reasoning. The first is observation, which involves advanced environmental perception using a mix of edge-based sensors to create and improve situational awareness. The second is learning, which is essentially robot training using a dynamic model that allows machines to adapt to the environment. The third step is to reason which involves human-like AI logic to determine the best course of action for planned and unplanned events. And finally, action, or to enact precise robotics control. All four steps are critical, and it's important that these steps work in concert in a closed-loop manner to enable robotics implementations that are flexible and can adapt to changing conditions autonomously. The reasoning step is one of the most important of these steps because reasoning is what allows robots to adapt to environments and parts variability and make the necessary decisions to successfully complete the task. But again, all steps are critical for successful autonomy. Christy, what are some of the key use cases cases and scenarios where using closed loop robotics automation software is a competitive advantage and how is this different than what might have been done in the past? Many of the use cases we're addressing with closed loop automation are tasks that are still be being done manually. This is because the nature of the task has historically prevented automation. The ability to address tasks that occur in arbitrary environments with parts variability is a key differentiator. For example, let's take a look at parts kitting and sequencing. Even in digitally mature industries such as automotive and electronics, the kitting and sequencing of assemblies can be a especially challenging to automate due to the high volume of variables and just-in-time nature of assembly lines. As such, these operations are often still handled manually. However, when automated systems can sense and act in their environment like humans, automating these functional tasks become possible even for manufacturers with a high mix of variable parts and sequences. Another task that is surprisingly difficult to automate is the area of quality inspections. Many products such as phones, laptops, and server equipment require stringent vinyl quality checks to ensure traceability, compliance with manufacturing tolerances, and to meet customer satisfaction levels. Given the high mix and multiple variations that can exist for each product model, these inspection tasks have historically been difficult to automate. How should we think about the timeline for such an implementation? It can generally happen happen relatively quickly, and the no-code, low-code approach makes setup simple. 
Someone that has never programmed a robot can set up a flexible, autonomous process in just a few hours. Of course, additional time will be required to integrate into existing systems and our workflows should that be necessary. Typically, implementation would occur for one part of the process in a single location. After the success of that implementation, a company would then expand to address similar tasks across their production line for that location, and then ultimately broaden to additional locations globally. Thanks so much, Christy. For a deeper dive into our full report, Speeding Robotics Automation with AI, visit abiresearch.com.